Donna Avery here with your three minute leadership nugget. And today I wanted to come to you from the book of John. Actually, I wanna to talk to you about excuses and actually what you're trying to do to accomplish the goal. Because a lot of times we don't realize how much we're working with comfort zones and excuses. And in John 5, actually Jesus is talking to the man that is um, sick he's been at the pool for years and he's wanting to be well or is he um, he's been there at Bethesda and wanting to get in the water for years and literally it's like 38 years and he's just been um, trying to get well and he clearly showed up to the pool so there's some level of my belief that you know he did he did the first step, he showed up. You hear us, us talk about showing up is half the battle. But even Jesus had to ask him, which is, a, which is a, a point of a leader being a bit confronting, right? He had to ask him, do you want to be well? <laughs> like, in other words, I know you showed up here, but are you showing up here because it's like the hypochondriac thing to do? Everybody's here that looks sick and oh, woe is me. Or are you actually here to get healing? And so when the sick man answered him, he came up with an excuse in um, John 5, 7. And then in John 5, 8, uh, Jesus saw past the excuses and went on ahead and healed him. Um, but he did tell him he had to have take part in it. So not only showing up, but also getting up and taking up his bed and being done with that, basically, because that was the part that attached himself to being sick. So what part are we playing in our healing, reaching our goals, whatever it is, spiritual, physical, mental, um, financial, whatever areas we're sick in and we're trying to hit a goal to get healthy, what part are we playing with the Holy Spirit in reaching our goals? What part are we playing in praying to the Father, asking in Jesus' name to um, complete the good work in us? What part are we saying, I lay down my life to pick up the power of the Holy Ghost and actually I do want to be healed, so I will pick up my mat and walk. And that's work. That's work. It's it's not always easy when you've laid um, still and your legs are dormant and they have been sedentary for years, you know, or your mind or your brain or your finances and you only know one way of uh, making your finances improve. Like, trust Jesus and what the plan is that he has for you. The Father has good plans for you. It says so in Jeremiah 29. You don't have good plans for yourself. Just forget that. Ask the Father what plans he has and then he is going to partner with you to have the holy spirit guide you into true healing so i hope this helps someone today we're not going to make excuses we're going to go out and we're going to say i'm going to pick up my mat and walk holy spirit show me what to do and and tag me in i will do my part go get them guys <laughs>